Hey everybody, this is Galator from Galator's Gaming, giving you a Fallout 4 video. This is basically going to be um, a build video, or me starting a build video. Now, as before with any of my build videos, like from Skyrim, uh, if you want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. It, well, now if you really, if you really feel like you want to subscribe to me, by all means, go ahead. But, uh, but uh, liking or commenting the video is perfectly free. Now, this guy is going to be a power armor build. He's going to be a bullet spewing, uh, a bullet frenzy kind of guy. So as such, my here are my stats: six and and six in strength. Two in perception, of uh, uh, four in endurance is about to be five, uh, three in um, charisma, and nine in intelligence, two in commando, or two in agility, and two in luck. And now the reason why my highest stat is intelligence is because one, uh, gun nut. Gun, gun knot science is going to be good for making better mods and armor. But this is the one we want for power armor. Nuclear physicist. You learn to split the atom and command it. Radiation weapons do 50% more damage and fusion cores last 25% longer. That's insane. Um, but this is survival mode. Like this is just generally all around perks that are very benefic beneficial for our character but um this is survival mode it's on this bill is going to be on survival mode so there are some things you need to keep in mind on survival mode one there's no fast travel maybe a little annoying maybe a little tedious but if you want me to if you want me to uh, cut out the parts of actual of the transition between area to area I will um but for the first episode, well, actually, I think I'll just cut it for the first episode. It's not really going to be that much of a problem. But, um, my main source of healing is going to be food. So, lead belly is going to be one of the uh, very important. And another thing is that you all, you have uh, other meters. You have, you have diseases, like in Skyrim. But this time, you actually have to take care of your hunger, excuse me, you have to take care of your hunger and thirst, and how much sleep you have. So this is basically like the hardest, like the hardest difficulty, because there are other things going against you, like survivaling, like surviving in a nuclear wasteland. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I don't necessarily have the best in stats. But it's gonna be uh it's gonna be it's gonna be uh easier once we get going. So water is gonna be a very big thing. Um for power armor builds, steel is also gonna be a good thing. So, which is why uh tin cans are actually gonna be very useful. Now you're probably thinking, Galator, what the hell is steel cans gonna be useful? Are you a madman? Well, here's the thing. The reason why steel cans are going to be useful because they have steel in them. Or tin cans because they have steel in them. Which is used for repairing your power armor. <clears throat> so, in normal Fallout 4 game, or basic vanilla Fallout 4, uh, normally adhesive and screws would be very precious, but now it's... Now it's adhesive screws and basically water because, oh, and here's the thing. Now there's a cost to using a stim pack because so there's actually a chance of getting a disease. You're actually more likely to get a disease. So that's not something most people would consider doing. Um, oh, and, uh, I probably should also explain the reason why I have two luck is because of these two perks. 
the fortune finder, I discover more bottle caps and containers. And scrounger, I find more ammunition and containers, which is very useful. And gunslinger, and for agility, it's gunslinger and commando. Re training, um, rigorous training, combat training means automatic weapons do 20% more damage, which is going to be very useful for us since we're going to be a bullet spewer. Gunslinger, non anatomic pistols, that's alright. Uh, gun nut, science, that's basically gonna pertain to our in upgrading Lone Ronderer, just for the fact that I really don't run with companions, because they typically get in the way, which is all the time. Fucking Lydia from Skyrim gets on in the way all the time, so I always. So I always am more cur cur cautious when walking with her. Uh, lead Billy, it's going to take less radiation damage from eating and drinking, since it's going to be our main source of recovering health. Uh, chem resistance. We get less likely to get addicted. The second level it makes us completely immune to addiction. So, uh, Riflemen, attacks with non-automatic rifles, same concept. This is for melee weapons, armor, mix, which is going to be very needed for our power armor. Blacksmith, melee weapons, that's the heavy guns, heavy gunner, nah, it's going to be for a heavy gun, or minigun. Increased carry capacity, which is going to be very useful for uh, us, since the more we can carry, the better. Since we're not, we can't fast travel for shit, really. Bingo. Now, once now that we got here, look here. Uh, see this book? You're special. Take it. We're gonna put another point into endurance, so we can. Uh, okay, so we can. Not only get more health, but also get Aqua Boy. Water is your ally. You no longer take radiation damage from swimming and can also breathe underwater. And the second perk makes you totally undetectable while submerged. So basically, you could become a ninja, uh, aquatic ninja if you wanted to. Cutsworth, you crazy robot. I live and breathe. Oh, it's... It's really you! Hey, how's it going? Codsworth? You're... you're still here. So... other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter them? But you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the... Uh-huh. Uh... Sean's been kidnapped. It's worse than I thought. Two hundred years? A, a bit of, that means you'll... Okay, so if you see the little yellow part, the little yellow part of the dialogue, that's actually a persuasion chance. The yellow means you're more likely to succeed than, say, red. Goes yellow, yellow is easy, orange is medium, red is hard. So, let's get some XP from this. A little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, I... And... Right. Stay with me, pal. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Codsworth. Uh-huh. Now, and shall we search... All right. Proud to... And like that, we just leveled up. Alright, so the first perk we're going to be getting is... Where is it? What? Oh, here it is. Lone Wanderer. Who needs friends anyway? When, the, when venturing without a companion, you take 15% less damage and your carrying capacity is increased by 50. That's what we want, so we're going to get it. I don't want that. I want that. Yes, he is. 
Cosworth just go hua Ninja hua They're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for You can't keep up. Thanks for your help. do is transfer all junk and any you know basically just a extra stuff since we really don't need it I'm gonna keep that switchblade though looks marvelous all right so sit rep and I'm fairly tired all right, so we're gonna go is somewhere around here because there's a book or a skill book. <laughs> oh duh! Oh, sneeze there for a moment. Ugh. Sorry about that. Now, as I was as I was saying before, I got interrupted by my own sneeze. Uh. There's a skill book that'll make us make it so we'll find twice as much resources, aka food. I need concrete. We'll find twice as much food as we would say. Why is it not allowing that? Uh, okay. Now, it'll give us twice as much, uh, food. Like, for example, when we kill an animal, we get their meat. Well, if we... Normally, we get one meat. Well, if we kill... If we kill them more than a couple times... Or, I mean, if we kill them just once, instead of getting one meat... Basically, what the book does, instead of getting one meat, it gives us two. Which is... What? Which is more buck for your value, so to speak. But, uh, I'm tired, so I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna, like, turn in for the night. <laughs> or day, really. And then we're gonna make our way to that cabin. Discover a couple more areas in the process. You know, because we can. That would be my phone. Shut up, phone. Alright, so... Oh, apparently I am thirsty. I'm gonna go and, uh... Satisfy my needs. So thirsty. 
Okay, so apparently I'm peckish. Nuka-Cola, ice cold. So I need food. And I know a place where I could make me some food. But uh, give me a second because <laughs> I, for I forgot to favorite the switchblade. <laughs> As you see, I felt like a ser serious. God dang it. I felt like a serial killer with this knife. Alright, so I'm satisfied. That's good. Alright, so this guy. Oh, shotgun! Take it. He has a tie iron. Huh. Drifter outfit. Now this is more my style, not some stupid spandex. Seriously, why would anyone think spandex is a good idea? That's just asking for, like. That's just asking for, like, uncomfortable... Okay, just think of it. Tight spandex crushing your junk. Not fun. Ooh, chest. <gasps> Glow side pistol. Think... The forefathers, or something. Whatever the hell you guys say. Or the people of the Follow Universe discover this area. <gasps> I saw, I heard a kitty. Abernathy Farm. Alright, you see that area? You see that area of the silo? That's where we want to go. And looks like we're getting some sort of event. It's not good. Nope. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is cross this bridge. Hopefully there's no super mutants, because they'll push my shit in. But that's where we're going for, or that's where we're going to. Over there, that's where we'll find the book of our dreams. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, this is what a synth looks like. Well. Wow. 
So yeah, that's what uh, getting killed will, will do. It'll send you back to the place where you're saved, which, by the way, is pretty much where you actually saved. It's because it doesn't auto-save. Yeah, a load of shit, I know. How do you think I feel? A switchblade whose blade looks rusty as fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought, you little... Well... All I can say is fuck you, Mr. Gutsy. Fuck you. I want the hairbrush, but I do want those grenades. I'm going back for my drifter out outfit, damn it. That stuff was sweet. Anyway, on survival... A lot of stuff can one-shot you, so be careful. And these nut fruits, wild nut fruits, they actually are very good food. Especially once you get the lead belly park. Which makes me wonder why I didn't, actually. Oh look, I got a piper. I wanted my glow sight back. <laughs> That's good shit because glow sites, they basic like glow sites are good and they cost nuclear material. I can't get nuclear material. That stuff is expensive. Kitty! Kitty. Oh. Little guy's tired. I just want to hug little guy. <sighs> Look, man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically... A bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it? Then? Disgusting. That's what. <laughs> I love those little conversations. <laughs> they uh, make my day. Now keep in mind, at this bridge, at this bridge, at this bridge, there could be anything. It could be merchants. It could be hostile robots, even super mutants. Which, by the way, um, Whoa, lady, you got, you got burnt and run alive. Holy hell. That's disgusting. What's this note? Billy, I've got the pipe. Now we just have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting away to what we're up to. I've stashed it in the National Guard training yard. I'll meet you there tonight. The pipe? The pipe. Like a lead pipe or something?
Uh, anyway, we finally managed to get here after that little, uh, complication. Fuck you, Mr. Gutsy. Fuck you. Oh, I hate Mr. Gutsy. Groovy! Mr. Goodfeels, you're back! Okay, they're up at Dad Cabin. Hmm. Now, I'm really glad I got these Molotovs because there's a little, uh, method to the madness here. See, the numbers taste the madness. So, that was fun. You know, I really should figure out how I can install a face cam, because if you saw my face, you would probably see a psychotic smirk right there. Not gonna lie. Uh, cap stash, no, it's noise. Now, this is what we want, the Wasteland Survival Guide. Perfect. You've collected an issue of the Wasteland Survival Guide. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. Which, keep in mind, for some odd reason, rad roaches are not considered animals. When meat below flies apparently do. I mean, it's not like it doesn't make sense, but it totally doesn't. And the reason why I said called him Mr. Goodfields is because that's his name, Mr. Professor Goodfields. Let's really? see what I can get. I know you love you sort of what? Okay, so you are like, oh, this was an outhouse. I'm not going there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh! Apparently rad roaches are considered... Okay, now what was I thinking that didn't give two meat? Or multiple meats? Hmm. Like, did they patch that then? Because I could have sworn they didn't do that. Hmm. And mother said I... And mother always did have a problem with cockroaches. For me, I didn't give a shit. Cockroach meat boot. Or radiation. Or an axe. Really anything that can... Ugh. Withered feral ghoul. Uh. Oh, stem... Uh, cigarettes. Asbestos, I'll take that. That's good stuff right there. A lot of alchemy. A lot of mixtures. I mean, it's not like I'm making drugs. <coughs> I'm making <coughs> medical appliances. <coughs> oh, you are dead. Okay. How's my uh, weight? Oh, not that bad. Saucepan. I think... I think that gives screws of some sort. Silver locket. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Skyrim lock picking. To be honest with you, Skyrim lock picking was very easy compared to Oblivion. For Oblivion, I had I did not understand it at all. Even perfectly honest with you. Now that is surgical tray that gives aluminum, so I took it because I need aluminum. You'd be surprised what things require aluminum that we want. 
Little bucket. Don't ask where what's in it because I don't want to know. A eh, broken lamp gives a screw. What did I just pick up? Ukshala Ashanaka hat. Let's see that. <laughs> hey, how you doing there, sir? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you like the Swedish meatball. Uh-huh, for sure. <laughs> Just can't take it seriously. How about the newsboy cap? Huh. <clears throat> this looks like... 70 schmuck. Ah, uh, listen here, see? You better not talk to me all that schmuck. You better not talk to me badly, you hear? Or I would have punched you in the schnogs. At least I think that's how they said. I wouldn't know. I'm not from the 80s. Uh, let's Bobby pins? I don't know, five. All right, then. I know you're not dead, son of a bitch. What? Yeah. Yeah, I figured you weren't dead. Careful with these feral ghouls. They'll ruin your day. Trust me, I know. Uh, extinguisher, that gives... I think gas? Or not gas, but uh, oil? <clears throat> Either way, I need oil. Now, here's a little tip on how to... How to, how to make it so, uh... Things are, you know, tagged. Go into Component View. Tag Research. Uh... Copper, I'll have that. Cork, I'll have that. Fiberglass, don't need it. As much plastic, mm. rubber, no screws. Yes, <laughs> definitely silver spring, maybe wood. No, there. So whenever we come across item that has one of those marked items, it'll it'll have a check behind the item's name. Uh, Hopefully I could find a good example. No. All right then. Take the bone because apparently I'm pretty sure the bone can be used and crafted. Uh, so we basically got everything we could have want from here. So that was pretty good. Oh, and don't go on that bridge. I'm pretty sure that's a hostile hideout or enemy hideout.
Now let's go back to Sanctuary, offload some of this stuff. Find some stuff to deconstruct. But basically what we're doing right now is just basically getting a basic holding. Now this, I'm moving way back here. Reasons I don't need any. But if we really must know, I do it because I want to. Oh, I probably should, uh... While I'm here, I probably should turn all the stuff that I got into food. Mine chops. Noish. So how long have I been recording? Eh, about 30 minutes, actually. Which is actually quite surprising, all things considered. I quite honestly thought this was going to take even longer. Now, what I'm gonna do now is find me some more red roaches, and I'm gonna rip them, I'm gonna shake them, I'm gonna turn them inside out, and then kick their ass. Oh, I leveled up again! Did you look at it? Now things uh, take. Now we take less rides from food. A Nuka Cherry. Now uh, Nuka Cola. Typically, uh, <clears throat> it would take. We would take ten. Well, like not ten. I think five rads. But now it only does one. So it's all around a very nice deal. Take it. Now, you're probably wondering what time it is when I'm recording. Uh, it's 11.55. What are you doing way over here? I guess we can go there and get like some uh oh be careful be very careful disarm the makeshift bomb 
disarm the trigger that gives you XP for both, then open this. Yes. So now we get ammo from that. We'll hack that later. I'm just checking to see what there is to what there is to is or more specifically what there is to gather. Uh deconstruct some of this crap. It's in the way. Will I be making settlements? Uh yeah. I most likely will. Because I, I, I want to make the world a more thrivable place. Typically, uh... You know, just generally stuff that would be typically beneficial. And I'm basically just doing what many would consider... I basically just clean up the place, really. Zero. Great. What? Likeness zero. Grab is likeness zero. So the chances of any, it being any of those is quite low. If I know how to hack. Which, by the way, kids, I do not know how to actually hack. Which is why I don't typically mod. Get rid of any dud, so... Slim. <sighs> well, clearly it's neither one. Need to get rid of any duds. <sighs> Wise. What? Did you, did, what? Did, did you guys see that? Uh, that was the only thing there. Game? You're screwing with me! Ooh, light bulbs. Steel and glass. No copper. Of course. Why wouldn't give me copper? I want copper. Give me copper, you bitch! Ah. Uh, kitchen scale. That spring. Hmm, well. That's not that bad, I guess. Pray for BA with like a screw. And for those of you who would turn that into a sex joke, just don't. Just. Just say myself the. Just. Spare me the insanity, please. Fury. What? Team? Mmm. I do not know what you are pulling, but I do not like it. Uh, duds removed.
There's an E in that one, so that's nothing. Fury is... Uh... Tries reset. Thank you. That's one dud out of my way. No, that way would have been wrong too because I had a Y in and it said there was no likeness. Oh, this system is just confusing. I don't get it. The only tangible word is... I don't get it. The only tangible word is lose. So, is that it? Sweet. Okay, so apparently it was. Finally, we got that XP! That precious, precious XP. Ugh. Oh, and these cars, they give steel, so, and quite a bit, actually, so, yeah. Fertilizer, thank you, and, and acid, oh, apparently I've been a very good boy today. I'm just mommy's little angel. It sounded like junk rat. These tires are in my way. Get to rid of them. Let's see. Let's see what kind of toys we can make. A revolver? Eh. Barrel. I sense uh, the bayonet. We don't need that shit. I will, however, put in the large magazine, drum magazine. That's the one we want. The drum magazine for all your psychotic needs. And the, uh, hmm. Apparently we don't have enough adhesive for that. Hmm. A bit of a pickle. I like pickles. 
but it's still a big, a bit of a pickle. Hmm. I have no armor to. All oh, right, I forgot. up this place a little bit you know it's kind of sad when my room when I seem incapable of cleaning up my room but this place I'm perfectly fine with cleaning up oh my mom would be here in an instant upon knowing that she does not like it when I don't clean my room Funny though, because sometimes she thinks I just I just do it for giving her grief. I mean, no, that's not true. Okay. Beaky beaky. rat poison on the roof that makes no damn sense among other things You know, I always wondered what this little death claw symbol on here means. Like... Does that... Like, if I make that, does it mean there's a death claw coming for it? I mean... I'm really curious here. Because I am by no means ready to face a death claw. Scott A. Don't ever deconstruct these saves. They are more worth the XP. <sighs> Provided you could actually pick them. Sweet. More ammo. Yes. Got pistol rounds. Just what I always wanted. Count Dracula. Hopada hopada. What is the bug se- Oh. Is there corpses? Creepy, creepy corpses. Now just so you know, for some odd reason, cigar boxes give fiber glass. Which in my opinion makes no sense, but alright.
spray stash. So, uh, there's actually an item in this game you can make from vegetables called vegetable starch, and you can use that as an, if you can, if you take it and deconstruct it, you basically can use it for adhesive. So, basically, you can farm your own adhesive if you really wanted to. You know, if you were curious. Because... Why so serious? Why, why so curious? Why so serious, serious black? I don't know. Why so noisy, Voldemort? Yeah, you guys get it. You know because uh, Voldy bought Mr. Voldy ass didn't really have a nose, like no nose, really at all. No. Hey, you see, this is why I didn't join. You see, this is why I didn't go to Saturday Night Live because I can't. Apparently, I can't make jokes for the life of me. So, yeah. And now you guys have to suffer for all my corny jokes and memes. Don't forget the memes. So. Right now, I really don't have a general direction of where I'm going at the moment. Like, I have a plan, but right now, I what I really need is resources. So, that's basically what I'm doing here. Now, the first... Keep in mind, the first episode I'll leave unedited. And if you want me to edit, I will. Like, if you want me to edit the, uh... You know, changes or really anything in the end that you may not want to, have to slog through, I will. But you'll definitely have to let me know because some people may want to go through it, some people don't. It, it's a weird sort of thing. Like, for example, there are some people who enjoy... Like, for example, there are some people who enjoy watching me just loot stuff and take stuff, which, in my opinion, makes, which is not bad, but it's certainly weird, but weird is good, because if you're weird, you're interesting, interesting, not boring, like most people who have a general personation of normal, but still. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, there are some people who get, like, super frustrated with how, if I don't loot, if someone doesn't loot everything, they get so frustrated. And keep in mind, in a game like this, when you can't fast travel and you have limited space and you're... You gotta ask yourself, are you really willing to go back and forth, go back to your place, unload all your inventory, just so you can pick up that one bottle? I mean, it's not Skyrim where... What was that? Anyway, it's not Skyrim where you can loot everything, punch everything in the face, and... What not? Like here you have to, in this difficulty, in the survival difficulty, you have to be a little more strategic. Which, by the way, the reason why my Skyrim characters have, or my Skyrim Remastered game has mods on them, is because I feel like this mod, like the survival difficulty, should have been implemented, or at least added to the remastered edition of Skyrim. Because... 
I honestly, to tell you the truth, I've actually missed so much stuff in Skyrim that I never would even notice unless I've actually gone through the game without being able to fast travel. It's it's ridiculous. It's me it's insane how much I missed. To be perfectly honest with you, in the end. Like, apparently there's a lot more enemies than I thought. Like, there's... For example, there are, like, rogue soldiers. Like, apparently, I never would have noticed this unless I would travel between one area and there more often without being able to fast travel. That's generally what the mods I have do. It says survival. It's the ornator perk and the wild combat wild can. A couple of survival mods. It's not really nothing... I mean, it's not really cheatsy anything or anything. It's more like it gives me more of a difficult. It makes it more difficult and, quite frankly, much more rewarding for uh, gamers like me. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, is kind of a needed cha a needed thing since Skyrim seemed really too easy. I mean, there are some, there is this one, you know, speaking of Skyrim being too easy, there is this one guy who says, Sky, who has a video, who says, Skyrim is too easy, bro, where the guy itself is just basically him getting Daedric armor and weapons. Well, the funny thing is, I actually tried doing that. And I actually, even with Daedric armor and weapons, I still got killed, murdered, burned to death, ice spiked into my freaking face. So if you see that guy, just tell him you should rename his video how to get Daedric armor or something, because that's not how, because Skyrim is by no means easy in that regard. The only thing that's uh, easy about Skyrim really is... Okay, so with de Legendary Difficulty, it's really just uh, math. It's really... The only change really is just how much damage you deal against enemies and how much damage they do to you. That's basically it. There's no sophisticated stuff in it. There's no sophistication between it or behind it, which is why I like... Fallout 4's version of a legendary difficulty, which I think they should have implemented in the remastered version, but but what can you do? If you see an empty ball on the ground, always pick it up. Don't deconstruct it because you can use that to fill up with water, purify water, preferably. And, um, typically I do in my off time, or whenever I'm not recording, I tip in games like this where crafting is a huge thing, I typically just find all the materials that typically have more than one type of material. Well, I typically grab anything that in the junk, in the workshop junk area, and just de straight up deconstruct it. Mainly based on the fact that it's just really not that useful, other than... i already been to this house. I mean, it's just generally not useful, other, other than the fact that... I'm getting, I'm getting so mixed up, like... 
I'm getting I'm getting mixed up here. So let me just let me just start over so I, so you can honor so you can follow so you can like know what I'm trying to say. So what I basically do is I deconstruct everything and basically if I get something that no hmm. thank you. So basically if I get something that has more than one item you can get from deconstructing it, I basically deconstruct it. Because if I don't, it would use that material, but it doesn't, I don't think it would use all of it. But regardless, it's better, I feel like it's better to have the rock opponents itself because you don't know if they use every bit of the opponent, like, component. Like, if you have something that requires only two steel and the item that you could use to get that steel has five steel and you only need two I like does it give you does it like use the steel that's needed but deconstruct any others or like just put in your the extra in your inventory that's what I'm concerned about and especially if it comes down to like nuclear like the more very expensive stuff like adhesive or nuclear material that's something I'm not really willing to you know, dick around with. I make sure I get pure 100% efficiency out of that. I'm a sustainable guy. These lampposts are actually very useful to deconstruct. <gasps> Bullets! I need these. 38 rounds. Mmm. Mmm. Me likey. Me likey a latte. Oh, and I ever told you guys I have actually played Overwatch? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even joking. I've actually played Overwatch before. I wasn't very good at it, and apparently people... Apparently people think you should kill yourself for not being good at something. I'm not even joking. That's literally 90% of the comments I've been getting telling me what I should do. Oh boy, and people complain how RuneScape, like RuneScape's community has gone toxic. It's not even close to as toxic as World War. It's not even close to as toxic as Overwatch. I mean, we live in a very peaceful time, and... They like to, apparently they like to act like dictators and telling me what I should do, what I should or shouldn't do. I mean, I understand if that's, if they want to actually win a game, but come on. Don't be a cons inconsiderate douchebag, you know? Hmm. 
deconstruct this for the scrap steel. You know what's ironic is I play Fallout 4 exactly how I play in real life. Or how I live in real life is I always like... If I see something that's broken and like nobody's going to use, I just straight up deconstruct it. And like reuse the parts. Like I'm a, I'm a kind of guy that loves to tinker so this game is like... This game is like calling to the inner me or my inner or my inner uh, crafter bug. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. I called myself a crafter bug. It's a thing now. Fill the bottles. And that's basically what you can do with empty bottles. Just fill them up and you get water. See? Here for water. There you go. I'll be honest with you, though. I'm quite surprised that it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would be getting from that one area to another. Jeez, how many empty bottles do I have? I can inhale jet fuel. Sure, why not? Exactly how a mom would always do it. Honestly, kids, or honestly, kids, don't actually inhale jet fuel. It's First of all, I would question how you actually managed to get jet fuel, and secondly, jet fuel is very, very, very toxic, so don't do it. Hmm. Bourbon, brain fungus, can't duck food. That has zero rads! Really? Jet, no. Jet fuel, ha, no. Mintats, my chops, no. Get rid of it. Mm, I think I might keep a few. Uh, two, that should be a good. Suppresses immunity, that's exactly what you don't want. Squirrel a stick? Potato flour. I'm pretty sure you, you can use that for alchemy. Wild nut fruit. Uh, I don't think it does. You, you take zero rads. I think you take ne negligible rads. So that's something to keep in mind if you really want to go on about it. But I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh,. Let me know if this video, if you enjoyed this uh, video. I mean, this is going to be a power armor build, but uh, for, but this isn't the moment where we actually get our power armor. It's just basically the moment where we get resources because for the moment, sanctuary is going to be basically our main, our uh, main area of uh, our little HUD or a hub for a moment. So uh, let me know if this video was entertaining and enjoyable, and. Be sure to like and subscribe, it helps a lot, and it really means a lot to me. And be sure to share with a friend. This is Galator's Gaming, signing off.